welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one's all about fractions and your knowledge of equivalent fractions so here we go how many tenths are there in each of the fractions below part a three fifths part b three and two fifths now there's a couple of ways of doing both questions so we'll try and explore them both so first of all the question with the diagram three fifths well of course the easiest way to do this is to realise that this diagram is split into fifths. If we're being asked about tenths, we could just split each of the fifths in half, because if you split fifths in half, you will then have tenths. So now we've got ten tenths. So all we'd have to do now is count up how many pieces have shaded. So the three fifths that were originally shaded, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six six pieces shaded so the answer would be six tenths six tenths how many tenths are there in each of the fractions below part a three fifths would be six tenths the other way you could do that one is just simply by ignoring the diagram and just looking at equivalent fractions so you could start by taking this three fifths and writing it like a fraction because it's been written in words to begin with so let's write it as a fraction we pop an equal sign next to it because we're going to make an equivalent fraction and we need to figure out what would go in the two boxes to make an equivalent fraction out of tenths. Now we are told that we're dealing with tenths so obviously you would need to put ten in the bottom and then you have to say to yourself how do you get from five to ten? Well what's the connection between five and ten? Well you're timesing by two. 5 times 2 is 10, so whatever you do to the bottom pair of numbers, the denominators, you also do to the numerators. So 3 times 2 would be 6. And that's another way of getting 6 tenths. As for the bottom question, there is two ways you could do this one. Well, you've got three whole ones, each with 5 fifths. So each whole one has 5 fifths, so one whole one has five parts two whole ones would have two lots of five parts three whole ones would have three lots of five parts so we do three lots of five parts which is 15 parts plus the extra two parts so that would be 17 parts and because we're dealing with fifths it would be 17 fifths now we could do the same strategy as up here so now we know it's 17 fifths we need to make an equivalent fraction and turn that into tenths. So we'd pop an equal sign next door, a box for the denominator, a box for the numerator, and we're turning it into tenths because that's what the question is asking us to do. So to get from 5 to 10 is times 2. So to get from th so 17 times 2 would be 34. So that's 34 tenths. The other way you could do it is to start with the three whole ones. So in one whole one there would be ten tenths, two whole ones would be twenty tenths, and three whole ones would be thirty tenths. So this three whole ones would be thirty tenths, and then two fifths in tenths. If you double the two and the five you would get four tenths, that's an equivalent fraction. So if three whole ones is 30 tenths and two fifths is four tenths, if you put the two together, you would get 34 tenths. That's another way of getting 34 tenths. Whichever way you look at it, your answer to part B is 34 tenths.